Okay, here we are on the section that really is signature for Rocky Gap Road. In fact, there's even a maintenance um, sign here. And I don't know what kind of maintenance they're going to do on this road. <laughs> it's like there's nothing you could do. But take a look at this and imagine driving a vehicle up this thing. This is just incredible. Yeah, it, it's, it's even hard to walk. So, when we're done with this, we're probably going to be tempted to say we've done a day's worth of adventure. And continuing upward. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we are on Rocky Gap Road, and this is the actual Rocky Gap in the Wilson Ridge. There is what you might say is the mid-Wilson Ridge going up north. Eventually, it ends up at Harris Mountain, and then on this side of the gap, the ridge continues. So... That's the Rocky Gap of Rocky Gap Road, which we are on. And we're getting close. We're closing in on the Bridge Mountain Trailhead. So we'll show you that next. But this actually is um, a mile or two shorter each way um, 
to get to that Bridge Mountain Trailhead from Lovell Canyon as opposed to starting out at uh, Willow Spring in Red Rock Canyon. Okay, here we are at the Bridge Mountain Trailhead. This is at the summit of Rocky Gap Road. Not too much of a uh, climb to get here. I guess you're going uphill on the road for a couple miles. There's that pinnacle we've looked at before in this direction, heading north on the Wilson Ridge. And then here's the gap in the ridge and in the beginning of the south direction on the ridge. And you can go south on the Wilson Ridge nearly all the way to Highway 160. Um, but a, a great point along the ridge is Little Zion near, near Highway 160. And then looking up in this direction, the ridge line that you see on the horizon is the Rainbow Mountains Upper Crest Ridge Line. And um, it's a separate ridge running roughly parallel to the Wilson Ridge. But we're gonna uh, take this trail, the Bridge Mountain Trail, up to the top of that ridge line, take a right, and then circle around to the base of Bridge Mountain. Here's the La Madre Mountains Ridge Line. And here's where it connects with the Wilson Ridge. And then the Wilson Ridge heading north. And south. Bridge Mountain Trail and the Rainbow Mountains Upper Crest Ridge Line. Okay, Greg, how far have we gone so far? Three miles. Three miles. And, uh, and 1,150 feet up. <laughs> okay. This guy has a GPS. <laughs> okay, so we'll find out exactly how many miles to um, the base of Bridge Mountain, too. All right. Yay, we are now on the Rainbow Mountains Upper Crest Ridge Line. It's been 4.1 miles from Level Canyon Road and Rocky Gap Road, that intersection below down in this area. So, yeah, just to look around real quick is um, there's the southern portion of the uh, Wilson Ridge. And then the gap between Rocky Gap, the northern portion of the Wilson Ridge. Um, there's that pinnacle I call the Knife's Edge Pinnacle. Let's see, right there. And I, I named some of these um, pinnacles different. Yeah, here's Red Rock Summit. Red Rock Summit. And then not knowing the names of these next two, I called them mini Matterhorn pinnacles because when you're standing on them, you're looking straight down in nearly all directions. And then that snow-covered peak you see in the background, that's Griffith Peak. And over this way. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of peaks you can see. Um, there's Griffith Peak, and then Harris Mountain is this mountain that looks like it's got a little snow trail going up to the summit. And then just to the right is Mummy Mountain. So that gives you an idea where we are. Nope, the Harris Mountain isn't that. Yeah, it is. Okay, anyway, then let's look around. 
in this direction toward the Rainbow Mountain Sandstone Peaks. And here's a great view of Bridge Mountain, which is our goal for today. And then looking in this direction, there's Rainbow Mountain behind it, Mount Wilson, and then further on is the area of Indecision Peak, and then uh, you can't see really what's south of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue on. The, we're taking a right here on the Rainbow Mountains Upper Crest Ridge Line and heading over to this ridge you see in the foreground. We're going to head down this ridge, down to the sandstone section, and then to the base of Bridge Mountain, which is the furthest I've ever been. And while we've got this view, or maybe a little further on, um, but yeah, John and Greg, tell us what we're going to do once we get to the base of Bridge Mountain. Well, you can't see the route perfectly from here, but once we get down the ridge, down the sandstone, there's some, you know, class two, three stuff that we get down to like a saddle, and then there's a really awesome looking crack that you go up, which leads to the hidden forest and the arch. And then once we're there, we can hang out for a minute and then we'll end up doing some slabs going steep slabs going up from the above the hidden forest all the way to the peak okay and by the way looking directly below us cool little lake or pool i guess you'd call it a lot of really beautiful things that you can see here that you hadn't expected and we'll probably pass right under that um that pool and not see it when we're down there okay so we'll get a better view of of the approach to bridge mountain that that john was talking about when we get um, a little further on this trail and get a higher perspective okay continuing along the the rainbow mountains upper crest ridge line trail which is at this point the same as the Bridge Mountain Trail. And as I mentioned, we go up to this high point on the left above, and then we head down. And you saw that ridge line from the last location. But here, you can see more of Bridge Mountain. So John's going to point out our route, or at least as, as much as he can tell from this perspective, which is a different perspective okay john go for it it is definitely a little different i don't see any other viable options <laughs> right now but so we'll go down the sandstone there and get down to the bottom and then just on the left there there's kind of a i guess a, a red or buttress or something right there and it has a kind of a thick crack and it goes straight up and you see the tree that's sitting inside looks like a tree that's sitting on kind of a half a pothole there and so that's the route up the crack and uh, it goes from there up to the hidden forest which we can't really see from here behind that tree with the pothole uh and it's really pretty big forest and there's a big uh pool of water up there as well that's kind of sunken in and just looks really Looks like if you went in, you could never get out. Hmm. Okay. Wear life jacket. Pretty, yeah, pretty <laughs> awesome. Okay, and so obviously this is the, the prominent peak on Bridge, which is Bridge Mountain proper. Bridge, bridge Summit is the top of the Round Dome. I believe just down to the right, a little these little kind of twin summits there. That's called Bridge Vista um which is 
95% the same route as the route to Bridge Point, which we can't see right now, which is Bridge Point, you know, a lot of people would think that's the the summit of bridge because it's really you could from when you're driving the scenic loop that's what you really pops out at you but the actual dome in the back is bridge mountain okay summit so we're not looking at the summit right now no we we're looking at yeah we're looking at the summit right there the top of that big dome and is there a name for the um ledge on the left below probably but i'm not sure what it is i believe behind that though it would be icebox peak which you can't really see right now we'll show you later because that would be icebox canyon on that side okay where and the other side the canyon coming up would be the north fork of pine creek canyon which is called fern creek and greg and i have uh battled up that one time up to bridge and it's really a tough route i bet okay well let's continue on the trail sounds good okay here we are at a point with a lot of things to see and john's going to point out different places he's been below here okay john okay so starting over here this red peak here that's juniper peak and then if you follow the ridge there's Gunsight Notch Peak down low. And then above Gunsight Notch Peak is Walk Up Wall. Above that, uh, which I have not been to, Walk Up Wall, uh, but I have been on top of Rainbow Wall, which is just above that. If you move out to the left a little, you got the big peak there is Rainbow Peak. Then coming down, we're going to go to the back, more to the back here. That really neat looking red kind of boomerang shaped, that's Terrace Canyon Peak. And the route, it goes up Terrace Canyon, then some fun climbing. And then you actually have to walk through the top of that bowl. And then you end up on the far right of the boomerang and you have to climb that, I don't know, class three, three plus wall. Um, I remember it being pretty steep. And then you're, you get to the peak and then the actual down route is back down all the way down that bowl. You can only see the top half of it. Now moving over this other red slab here, that this Pine Creek peak, one of the best, I think maybe my favorite hike, the, from Pine Creek and you go up Pine Creek Canyon and just a crazy ridge route all the way. Got some good class three and four climbing. I know, one of these is Yoga Peak, but I'm not sure which one. It might be this one right here, <clears throat> but I'm not for sure on that. It's different angles. It's kind of hard to tell. But it looks like it could be Yoga Peak. Somebody sitting up there doing yoga yeah. positions. <laughs> it looks like it's very gettable from here, but the route from the North Fork of Pine Creek is one of the tougher routes in Red Rock. Yeah, I've started that a couple times and turned around about halfway. <laughs> yeah. Pine uh, Creek's a really long canyon system with a lot of forks. Okay, and there in the background beyond Rainbow Mountain is Mount Wilson. Wilson. And then that um, looks like a semi-forested hill. I believe that is the area above Indecision Peak. If you head down the left side of that hill, you're going to end up eventually at Indecision Peak. Yeah, and that for that forested point, I believe, is Indecision Point. Okay. And then to the okay, the Indecision Point. And then to the right, I believe that's First Creek Overlook Cliff. Yeah. And that you head down just a little um, this side of that cliff, there's a route down to the saddle of Mount Wilson. Then you can ascend the saddle of Mount Wilson. In fact, um, yeah, just follow Mount Wilson down and you can see a saddle down there. So those are the only other um, point 
the, well, there's a couple more points. There's Potosi Mountain. And then, and I'm sure there's a lot more. If you're familiar with this area, you're probably saying, well, you missed this. Um, you see Magic Mountain on the front, I believe, right there okay. in front of Juniper. I mean, that Magic Mountain and Krabby Appleton are in there. Somewhere. <laughs> Krabby Appleton. Okay, Magic Mountain. And then in the background there is Blue Diamond Hill. And you can see the gypsum mining operation down there. So, and then if it were a little more clear, you'd be able to see the Las Vegas Valley beyond that. But it's just too hazy right now. Yeah. Even farther back in the, in the great distance is the is black the high point Black Mountain in Henderson. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hazy. I want to get a workout. Maybe on the way back when the lights in a different yeah, it is pretty hazy. position, we'll see that. Okay. So yeah, here we are on the Bridge Mountain Trail, and we're at the top of that ridge we were looking at a moment ago. And we're going to continue on here and then start angling down that ridge toward the base of Bridge Mountain. Okay, now we're on the opposite side of the ridge. This is that ridge that we spoke about descending. And the trail continues nicely down this ridge. But um, John's going to point out what we're seeing from this area. So, well, first off the route, we're going to end up getting down the sandstone and then we're going to go up that crack that I sh it was the right crack well it's on the left but it was the correct crack that I was talking about earlier and it goes up it looks vertical from here yes it <laughs> does look vertical I say, oh my gosh you know two plus three the whole way there's nothing worse um okay it, it's kind of more of that honeycomb sandstone as opposed to slick slab uh, okay, so let's go over to the le way left. Okay. We're going to start with, that's North Limestone Peak, which most people refer to as North Peak. But once we come down to the right, this, this high, this high uh, sandstone peak here is also called North Peak or North Sandstone Peak. And as the second highest, I believe, I think it's the second highest uh, peak in of the sandstone in Red Rock. So, so it's just a little shorter than, than Wilson. Uh, Wilson. The Rainbow Wall and the, they're pretty close, but I believe North Sandstone is a few feet higher. Boy, that that looks a lot shorter than um, Mount Wilson, but yeah, I think maybe fifty feet. Yeah, and then um, if you go down the ridge a little, there's spot called El Deuterino. Now are you going down the ridge to your right or left? Yeah, the right down from north from from north peak sandstone. Yeah. Down and then there's a peak there called El Deuterino. Then there's another one uh, called Goodman Peak, which is a you, both of those you can hit from Lost Creek Trailhead and they're just short approaches and uh, great scrambles up. I'd say so Goodman's probably class three, maybe a little three plus, and the Deuterino is probably a little more three plus. A um, couple, kind of a long exposed slab climb, but definitely doable. Get, it kind of relieves the angle the higher you go, which is nice. And what's this one just to the left of Bridge Mountain? Right down here? Yeah. You know, I from this angle, I'm not sure. I think it's Icebox Peak, but a very well could be something else. Okay. Nice sandstone area down there. Looks beautiful. Yeah. Almost looks like a, a smaller version of Little Zion. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I see some Ponderosa pines down there. Okay, well, let's continue on. Okay, another demarcation point. We have just reached the sandstone slab. Above is the limestone. 
below here toward me is the sandstone and the um, the line between which can be very uh, stark is the keystone thrust fault line okay and here we are looking up at North Peak and there's Greg and John down below still on a trail but it's going to become a Karen trail soon because um, you can't see a trail once you hit the sandstone below so what we're going to do is head down this trail will reach some cairns and then you see this kind of saddle below going to take the saddle over to this scary um, chute and i understand we're going to climb the chute there boy that looks impossible from this standpoint but hey maybe it's more gradual when you get down there that's what john and greg are telling me so hopefully they're right <laughs> okay this is where if you have a toddler do not put your toddler on this area do not get in a fight between john and greg on this ledge because <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was a little scary seeing him right behind you. So, let me show you why. Uh -huh. Yeah, not excited about even getting close to this. But, oh my gosh. Look at that drop. Oh, John's saying he's going to hold the phone over the edge. Now, make sure that <laughs> the phone remains in your hands at all times. Okay, here we go. Video is running. Uh, John's doing something I would not do. Well, I'm not going to get closer than... But. That's, no, that's like twice as close as I get. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, maybe get that clip on your little left too. The other route, oh. all the way up Pine Creek. And then up all kinds of slab ledges and what a hike that is. Greg and I did it back in, in October. Where do you think we came up after? Uh, have any idea? So this is the north the north fork of Pine Creek Canyon below us. I'll give you your phone safely there. Okay. I bet it was further down over there. It's really down there. Yeah, and just look at the cliff line here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, this is where if you lose your balance, have your last thoughts and prayers on the way down because that's the last thing you're gonna experience. It. Yeah, enjoy enjoy being airborne, I guess. That's what John's saying. So as you can see, we are definitely on the sandstone. I wonder how far away I was up here one time with a guy measuring off of the top of Wilson. Uh -huh. to jump off of it with a wingsuit. See yeah, what? I, yeah. One time I was in White Pinnacle Gully going up yeah. uh, the south summit to Wilson. And uh, actually, I was on my way down. I was running super late, uh, hauling butt. Uh, and I was in the middle of White Pinnacle Gully descending. And I heard this loud noise and uh, it sounded like bullet. And I looked up and two guys in those wingsuit skydiving base oh. thing flew right over the gully they were so loud it was it was crazy i was like i mean it gave me energy really to go finish the get back to the car <laughs> that's one of the harder hikes i've done that is insane it was absolutely crazy yeah we're looking at the north fork of pine creek canyon below looks like viable launch point though <laughs> well let's not test it today. Film a Red Bull commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Ready?
Okay, heading down this sandstone slope. There you see John and Greg are ahead. And we're going to get to the base of it and angle around to this crack. And John promises me that this will be less vertical when you're up here than it looks from this point. So, um, yeah, you see the crack that goes up, takes a little jog to the left and then continues on up. That is our ascent route. So, yeah, I hope it looks a lot more gradual when we get up there, we'll find out. But look at this beautiful setting with the pine trees in the sandstone, even a little pond up ahead. So yeah, we will focus on the beauty of the surroundings and not the vertical nature of the ground we will be clinging to. Okay, Greg's descending a crack, and I will be following soon. And for some reason, they're calling this Class 3. Seems like Class 5 to me. Okay, Greg's saying we don't feel exposure at all. Okay. I'm trusting you, Greg. Oh my gosh. Good job, Greg. So he got a little jump at the bottom. So that check it out. You'll find one. There's one right in front of you. Oh boy. Just wedge yourself in there, keep your feet up, and you're gonna have plenty of places to grab and okay. press against with your feet and grab with your hands. No disclaimer, there is this is this is nothing like anything I've done before. If you get stuck, I'll throw you some webbing, don't worry. Okay. Now you will throw me a rope. I may need it. Oh my gosh. This is Yeah. Okay, right down the center, huh? Okay. Oh my gosh.
camera never does it justice. <laughs> this, this is one that you do not show your mom. Yeah. <laughs> or your girlfriend or wife. Or your kids. You don't show your kids because they'd probably try it. <laughs> okay. We're coming down. Next hold. Okay, and this is called the wedgie. Yeah, feel pretty comfortable. Um I wouldn't say I feel pretty comfortable, but So you're saying I can't mess this up. A child could do it. I don't know. If the first time you did it, you were thinking what I'm thinking right now, um, you might have not done it. And we're just supposed to come back up this crack. Oh, and it's easier than going down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I definitely don't want to stray to the right. That's a one way trip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm going back up this way. Yeah, I hear you, but I don't believe you that going up is going to be easier. But maybe, maybe when I do it. Oh boy. Oh, mama. <laughs> oh, my gosh. When you get down here, aim the camera up so people can look up this little delightful plunge. Okay. Yeah, and a little excursion to the right would be. Yeah, if you, if you stay to the left, you're not going to just have a step down at the end. Yeah. Now there's a picture looking back up that crack we just came down. And believe me, it's more vertical when you're on it than it looks from this angle. You're probably thinking, yeah, I could do this in my sleep. Well, come and give it a try. Okay, what are you gonna tell me about this one? Well, this one here, you just gotta get comfortable. Get your feet in front of you so you can obviously control your body from going forward because all the exposure is forward. Okay. So I'm going to just get my left foot there. I'm going to push against here and then drop my left foot as far as I want to cheat that foot down as far as I can get. And then got a little thing here. Now you can always, if you get weird, you can kind of get up against the side and you may feel better. Have a better angle. There's always, there's a big crack here, it's a mantle on, and boom. <laughs> I like the end boom part. <laughs> <laughs> boom without the splat. Okay. All boom, no splat. All boom, no splat. Okay, we just came down this crack. And... Ah! 
I understand we're going to do the honeycomb climb, which John will demonstrate, and maybe I will follow. Okay, there he goes. Wow, that just doesn't look like there's anything for you to latch onto there. You don't have to climb it face first, like like you know, wall. You can do it backwards on your butt. Okay. But I don't know. I told Greg did it last time, and it worked. So I, think I had better. And so you're saying straight down rather than to your left? Uh, yeah, straight, just, he wasn't facing the wall. Okay. You can't see your footholds as well when you face the wall. Oh, it looks so easy. Watch out, Frank doesn't get so different. Okay. There's a little cairn down there to tell us we are on course. Okay, Greg's now going to show another technique. Wow. Okay, and to get a little more idea on perspective, check that out. Okay, I guess it's my turn. Nope, he's still going down. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, my turn. But before I do that, just to remind you, that crack is the crack we are ascending. I totally don't see that. They promised me that it would be more gradual when you're on it. So far, not seeing it. Oh, it's not as steep as this. Okay, well, less distance to fall though here. Okay, here we go. Okay, we just came down this. And we turn around. No, we're not going to do that cliff. But, yeah, I just don't see it going up the crack here. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we just came down this section, then to the base of the slab that I'm on, just over the edge there. There's a walkway, if you can call it that. And then heading up this point along this little ledge and then up to where John's standing. 
Arkansas. And I think he's close to the base of that famous crack we've been looking at. Okay, onward. Okay, having just come up this little ledge, after having come down, everything you see before you, yeah, that's right, down from that height, Here we are on another little friendly ledge, <laughs> place to remember what it's like not to feel like you're going to die any second. And um, yeah, I think that the crack we're looking at is right up this way. That's the crack John is saying take the more exposed, but what looks like a lot more footholds and handholds section, a little um, on the right side of that crack. Yeah, but the exposure is just frightening. So uh, David may wanna go in the crack, even though there's some steeper portions. We'll have to see. But just to look around, it helps to, to just look at the beauty of where we are, nature. Now, what was wrong with that section to the right there, ahead and to the right? Where we are now? Like yeah. Going this way? Yeah. Well, this doesn't go to the peak. Oh. But it'll go around the base, I believe, and uh, you can get to Bridge Point that way. Okay. Um, but it will, I don't think it's, there's no guarantee that there's not some good class four or five on there. Not sure. Where's this route? You can guarantee that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, at least Greg's laughing. Okay. That's how I so. That's how I get views in this. <laughs> Diffusing stress, okay. Onward and upward. They said that, yeah, it's easier than the crack. There are more footholds. You know they were right, but um, <laughs> it's craziness here. Okay, I'm looking around. So we are, we've started up Bridge Mountain here. I don't know if we're like a third of the way up or not even a tenth of the way, I'm just not sure, but wow, what well, below. So yeah, um, if you lean back when you're coming up this, it's not good, you can fall backwards. But also, if you have a heavy thought in the back of your mind, yes, that would send you back down too. So everything is forward looking. Wow. When we came down from this ridge above. It's hard for me to even pan the video around. It's just. 
feels like we're definitely on top of the world in this spot. Any famous words, John or Greg? No, you did great. That was a, that was fantastic with the amount of like real class three scrambling and especially exposed uh, sections. I mean that was just fantastic. I mean you just followed me up step for step and uh, just kept it moving. Three points of contact and you were solid the whole way. Okay. You know, Did that was still it. solid the whole way. You look solid. I guess at every point it was all right. You were right. Well, Seeing it's doable is another thing doing it, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. that's absolutely true. When I the first uh, we we I had a ton of scrambling experience, and the first time I saw that crack on bridge, I told Greg, I was like, "No way, no way!" And so we actually met another hiker, and she followed us up, so it gave me some more courage. But <laughs> oh, okay. Would you say the time when there were no? It must have been Aaron or something. No. Right, tell us what's next. We're going to whip around this ledge here, and um, there's, I think, another maybe ramp. ramp, and then we'll get, should be uh, right near the arch, the famous uh, Bridge Mountain Arch. So we're going up this ledge. No, we're going to go around and then up. I don't, I don't think we're climbing the, the rib here. Okay, we're not going to be on the outside. No, I think, no, I, I'll have to look. You have to look Let me look. Okay. John and Greg, any famous words up here? Hold your breath. Oh, we're looking at the uh, Bridge Mountain Arch, the famous. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a sight to see. We'll get a closer that's look a at it when we get up there. We have a great look at the Buffalo Wall, which uh, when Dave pans around, you'll see this big wall with the brown stain in the middle. Kind of looks like it's uh, two brown stains, but if you see it from certain angles, it looks like a buffalo. Oh, you think it's it's Buffalo Wall because it looks like a buffalo? That's what I think. Yeah. I was I was picturing Native Americans herding buffalo over the edge and and then collecting them at the bottom for their meat. I don't know. It seems like a tough uh, hike to get up to collect the meat. Uh, you'd have to go up Ice Fox Canyon. Oh boy. And, uh, okay. Scramble down with some bison on your on your. Team up and write a good fiction book. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so can we see the Paiute wall maybe too? Maybe my buffalo theory is not a good one. There is the Paiute wall, which I believe is right over there too. Oh, wow. Is that the red? No, but on the to the left of the red, the big big wall there. Oh, okay. Paiute wall. Paiute wall. That's neat. Well, it is nice to be standing on this ledge after what we have ascended just now. I, you know, I'm, I'm totally in disbelief that that I made it this far. Oh. Or not. We knew you were. I'm glad someone believes in me. John is an amazing coach. Ah. Oh. I go from the top and down, and then with the girl that we were with. Yeah, that, that then, didn't work. No, it was like a little too weird. And then, uh, I, I think you walk right up here and there, and to uh, be honest. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, over here, yeah. Oh, interesting. You go up this side of the arch if you well, want to I'm get a cut. go actually through the arch. Right, right. I, yeah, I know. I'm not going up on the arch. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, yeah, totally. I've never been contemplating it. Right. Here. Are Greg and John standing under the famous Bridge Mountain Arch? How beautiful, incredible.
Yeah, we are above that crack that we saw from below that looked impossible. And <laughs> I still say it is impossible. I don't believe that I made it up that crack. Wow. Okay, you gotta check this out. We're looking at the back side of the arch and watch when I zoom. And that's Griffith Peak. And I don't know if you can hear on the video, but there's quite an echo here in this arch. Or in this, this bowl here above the arch. Wow, look at this tree. And that's the direction of our next move, I understand. And we're heading up toward the hidden forest now. Okay, looking down at the arch now, having just come up this ledge right along the edge of the, the vertical here. A nice perspective on the arch. And there's John continuing upward. Greg's already ahead. They're both waiting for David. Okay, approaching the hidden forest. Look at this. Oh, wow. Pretty amazing. Still on the Cairns. Let's take a look down here. John says this is better than the hidden forest. Go for a swim. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So you're calling that a Tanaha? Uh, yeah. That's what I'm calling it. Okay. Yeah, how nice. Up here, hidden from everyone below on Bridge Mountain. I bet the big horns drink out of there. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Well, I'm not sure. If they... I don't know if they can get down there. I don't know, maybe over, right over there and they can jump up. Okay. Well, I hope the big horns are listening. <laughs> <laughs> John's telling them how to get down to the the Tanaha down there and get a drink of water.
Okay, we're exploring around this area. Found another Tanaha, which is a little pool, ephemeral pool. The sheep could easily get in here. Yeah, it is where the sheep want to drink without risking their lives. And there's a shot of Las Vegas and the stratosphere just to the left of Bridge Mountain. There you have it. Crazy colors over here. It is beautiful up here. A few lone ponderosa pines. They look like they've been taking a lot of weather up here. Another perspective on the hidden forest. Look at those ponderosa pines. Amazing, you gotta be up here to see them. Okay, we're getting ready to head back down not knowing how that's going to go because coming up some of these ledges i remember thinking how in the world are we getting down but fortunately john and greg know okay we just came down you see a crack right up there and you see kind of a ridge just to the right and John and Greg came down the crack I transferred over to the ridge and then came down the ridge and then went back down into the crack and here we are And I know there's a lot of wind sound, but I'm gonna zoom in on the town of Blue Diamond. Okay, I don't have my mic, so I can't zoom and talk at the same time so I'll tell you where I'm going to zoom. I'm going to zoom on the route that we're going to take back up to where we find, re re reconnect with a trail. Okay, there you have it. Okay, John's going up this chute. We came down earlier. Let's watch the master.
There he is straddling the crack. And victory. Do you have any comments, John? One <laughs> Okay. Okay, my turn. Okay, now with this beautiful lighting from the sun, we need to do a quick review. We're off the, the main vertical areas of Bridge Mountain, but just by way of review, yeah, um, we actually went up, show you the crack we went up, we'll trace it up to the top of the crack. Yeah, that's the crack, and it looks vertical from here. It wasn't quite so bad, and you see a, a kind of a ridge just to the right of that crack between the two cracks, and we actually went up that ridge. The arch and the hidden forest were up in this area. So pretty much that's the story of what we did on Bridge Mountain. What an adventure. Any final words, John and Greg? Uh, that was fantastic. I think we made it, you know, could have, could have been a lot less. And uh, really uh, proud of Dave getting up there and tackling any uh, self-doubt and getting up that crack is no joke. So really, uh, really a great hike. We got to explore a little beyond the hidden forest area and some new some new terrain so that was really great okay greg well just a great day just uh, happy to be part of the group thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you both thank you both for your leadership i definitely would not have done this without you <laughs> And John and Greg have actually been to the very summit of Bridge Mountain, but they let me turn them around short of the summit today. We were fine with that, yeah. <laughs> okay. You didn't have to twist our arm up there. <laughs> okay. So our next thing is to wind our way up the sandstone, and we're going to arrive on the Rainbow Mountains Upper Crest Ridge Line and then head down to the Bridge Mountain Trailhead. There's the ridge line. At the trailhead, we're gonna catch Rocky Gap Road and take that all the way down to Lovell Canyon Road. And I've, I've gotta confess, I did slip and fall today. It was on Rocky Gap Road. <laughs> so, yeah, that says something about where you're likely to slip. It did not slip at all on these exposed areas that we were on. <laughs>